reason I logged on to talk to her and play with her. That was like, I can see why people just play this for the social aspect. For the most part, there are some people in the game that are really nice people. I think when a game's got an environment like that, you stick with it. I'd, I'd log on to WoW at night and I'd talk to all my friends and that was like something that I didn't get in real life. I've been playing WoW for like 10 years plus now. When I first started WoW, I was still at school. That's scary. Um, and I originally went to uni. I did music, but I played electric guitar. I hated it, so I stopped after six months and just started working. I went into IT and I've just been doing IT ever since. I originally got into WoW basically uh, with my cousin. Uh, he used to live next door to me and I went around to watch him play it for a few months and it was just amazing watching him level his druid and do Scarlet Monastery and things like that. I used to spend like most of the most of my life at his house just he had two computers so we'd just sit next to each other and do dungeons together and farm gold to get epic mounts and things and yeah great times great times so i think i first started playing world of warcraft because a friend at, at school kind of introduced me to the idea of mmos and i tried tried rudescape like most people did then i moved on to guild wars and there was always something about the mmo genre which i thought was really cool but none of the games quite gripped me. And a friend of mine got it and he was like, just just play it. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And then I was hooked. I was introduced to the game through my brother. When I first started playing, it was actually on his account. I uh, made a, a mage gnome, which I, I only played for like a couple of levels before I ended up getting my own account. I became gripped with a game which I didn't really expect. It didn't seem like my type of game. Like I normally stuck to like racing games and, and stuff like that when I was younger, but something hooked me to this game. I don't know what it was, but it ended up being one of the biggest parts of my life. But the first thing we really did at level 60 was he was a healer because he was a druid, so he got accepted into a crazy raid guild straight away, which was really good. I was a rogue, so and in vanilla, rogues are everywhere. So I was like left penniless and destitute. So the main mission was to get me into his guild. That was the first thing. So eventually that did happen, uh, which was pretty cool. But uh, until that, he would help me out with Zolgarob. I was leading some Zolgarob raids. They had good times. And farming gold for epic mounts in Strat Scarlet. So that's basically what we just did all the time. During the first year that I was playing, I remember typing in, I think I was in Stormwind, I needed to get somewhere, I wanted to go off and do a quest, I didn't know how to do it, and I was like, can anyone show me where this is? And uh, this dude popped up and he was like, oh it's okay, I'll just teleport you here. And then he found out he couldn't teleport me because I didn't have the expansion, which meant there were certain areas in the game I couldn't get to. So he manually ran me, it took about an hour and a half, and this guy just stuck with me and ran me through the route that I needed to take and just stuck with me and chatted with me the whole time. I think that was the moment I realised that how social this game can be and how friendly people in the game can be because I was like, wow, this complete stranger has just spent an hour and a half of his time doing something that was quite mindlessly boring, just trying to get me to this location. All he had to do was be like, oh, sorry, mate, you're on your own, but he didn't. And I think that was a moment I realised like people in this game, there are also people in the game who are not nice people, but for the most part, there are some people in the game that are really nice people, really friendly and really help you out. And I think when a game's got an environment like that, you stick with it. It wasn't until my brother suggested that we'd uh, level characters up together which properly hooked me to the game where I made a hunter orc called Chayboyko, which is named after my company, <laughs> which, which I had when I was making like crappy films when I was a kid. And my brother made a, a priest troll called uh, Cam Deman, because he's Cam and he's Deman. Uh, <laughs> and basically we, we leveled up together, which was like super, super fun. The best experiences of my life are just from playing WoW with my brother. In Burning Crusade, I moved into another guild with a good friend of mine, Sven, who I ended up meeting in real life. He invited me over to this convention thing in Norway called The Gathering, which is about as nerdy as it sounds. It was in this upturned Viking ship sort of stadium, and you just go in and it's dark, full of sweaty nerds, monitors everywhere, and 
Daft Punk really loudly and Norwegian people shouting stuff that I didn't understand. And I think after four days of that, we eventually went outside and blinded by the snow and got some Snickers bars and Coke and things. And then came back and it was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Just playing games for a week straight, basically, in a foreign country. <laughs> World of Warcraft has that stigma, that reputation of being a game that drains your social life. But I think the irony of it is it's a very social game. While people might think you're being antisocial because you're not meeting up with certain friends outside of World of Warcraft, you've probably got a lot of friends inside the game that you are spending time with. The friends that I had in real life and in World of Warcraft, it kind of made us spend more time together because we would talk about World of Warcraft in real life as well and we'd meet up uh, and play together sometimes. One of my best friends back home, we spent, you know, a lot of time in the game playing together and then we'd meet up and sometimes it would just come around mine. We'd often we'd go out, play football, come back and then play World of Warcraft in the evening and uh, we'd sometimes just get drunk and play it together and it was quite, you know, it was a lot of fun when you do it like that. And we legitimately got drunk one night, woke up the next morning and gone up 30 levels and couldn't remember it. <laughs> Wrath of the Leech King came out and I managed to find a guild called uh, Nation of Domination. We got to know each other quite well and it was a really kind of fun guild to be in and at the time of, of playing this game I wasn't in school and I didn't really have or I didn't feel like I had many friends and I didn't really get outside much so the fact that I could sit and talk to these people and and then like talk back to me like I was like a normal person and and we all got along and we laughed together and and we did this thing together like every every couple of days a week was just it was so helpful for me personally as well as you know it was just kind of like it was like a second kind of family I guess I'd, I'd log on to WoW at night and I'd talk to all my friends and that was like something that I didn't get you know in, in real life so Warcraft was basically the, the best thing for me and it was the best thing for me for years the nation of domination disbanded sadly I still keep in contact with people from that guild now but not not as many as I'd have liked to but at the same time, my brother managed to get into a guild called One, um, which was a kind of fairly big raiding guild at the time. And I was with that guild through the rest of Wrath of the Leech King. I killed the Leech King with them. Like, the, one of my best memories of the game is we tried to kill this thing for, like, so many weeks. And it was just constant failure of week after week. And then one week, we finally got this boss down and the cheers over, like, vent like of everyone being so happy was just one of the best moments. I met this paladin called Gertha, who I ended up being in a relationship with for some time. So I met online on WoW and just used to like chat online all the time. It was, you know, not really going any further than that. But then after about a year of that, I guess, I went over to Finland to see her. I was there for about a week and then came home and uh, things sort of went on from there, going for a like, sort of long distance relationship. And then I went over there for the following Christmas, which was pretty crazy, like uh, seeing a Scandinavian country or, or well, Finland in, in that sort of time of year was pretty nuts. And especially being away from my family at Christmas and staying with a you know, girlfriend at the time, it's was, was pretty cool. For a period of time, basically like the only reason I logged on in there to talk to her and play with her, that was like, okay, so this is the, the social side of WoW now. Like I can see why people just play this for the social aspect. She eventually did quit well because she started doing <laughs> the, the correct thing and actually focusing on school and college and things, so, <laughs> which is probably what you should do. Um, but I didn't because I didn't have that at the time. So I was just playing through well and did, you know, cataclysm and things. And I think eventually we, we split up. But uh, yeah, it was a really good time while it lasted. It was really cool. Certainly very interesting. Burning Crusade was the first time that I had got to max level and that took quite a while. So then the first time I raided there was quite big because it was like, okay, this is what the game's actually all about. Cataclysm, I joined a guild that I got on really well with. Like you'd, you'd log on and people would be like, oh, hi, Ed, hey. And you'd, you know, you felt like part of a community. I think that was probably the best memory for me from was that Cataclysm because that was when I was in a guild that was regularly raiding. We all got on with each other. We all had a lot of fun. A lot of the people in that guild were kind of parents, which was quite surprising to me at the time because I was, was raiding and they were like, that's right, I've just got to go check on the baby or my wife's off doing this and then I've got work in the morning. And I was at school at the time and I was kind of like, this is weird, this is, you know, 
I mean, still got on with them really well and that's what I think was kind of great about it is because there were people from all ages but you're all there to do the same thing during Cataclysm when I was part of one I pretty much just logged on to the game just to kind of get away from from the real world um, even if I didn't have anything to do in game at the time there's this one time when I logged on I was talking to uh, a friend of mine in my guild we were both kind of logged on and we were kind of bored and then I can't remember how it happened, but we, we started playing hide and seek in, in the middle of one of the zones, Ashira. She would go hide and then I'd fly around trying to find her and you'd just, you'd just waste time and we'd chat at the same time. It was just like a bunch of fun. But the game isn't meant technically for stuff like that. You're meant to do raids and whatever, but you can just log on and hang out with your mates and just have like a fun time doing whatever you feel like. It's just a great experience. The guild I was in at the end of Kato broke apart because of tanks being really bad. <laughs> um, and I'm still in touch with a couple of people on there now, like good friends I made in that guild. But since uh, in Mists, uh, I joined the guild that I'm still in now, which is a really cool guild, a really social guild, and sort of always on TeamSpeak, always on, on the chat. We've done raiding, and we've raided Siege of Ogrimmar and whatnot, and it was, it was good fun, but I think ultimately it was definitely more of a social experience for me. You know, World of Warcraft is a game where you, you start off a uh, low level, there's loads of content, it's so much that you know people have hundreds and thousands of hours playing this game because there's so much to do. And it's really rewarding. You're constantly improving your character, you're never the best character you can possibly be. You know, there's always better armor you can get, you can level up, you can unlock new abilities. Combined with the social aspect where, not even just the chatting, but the idea of a group of people getting together and killing this boss that there's no way you could possibly do on your own. It's satisfying, you know, to know that, wow, me and 24 other people just took down something together and the, the teamwork aspect. You know, anytime you achieve something as a team, I think the same with any sport really, it's, I mean, it's a good feeling. I spent a lot of my like teenage years just playing the game instead of like going out and doing what normal children should do and playing football in the park or whatever. And there's actually times when I was meant to meet a couple of friends in real life and I told them I didn't want to go because I had a scheduled raid that evening. So instead of going and meeting my friends in real life to kind of hang out and eat pizza or whatever, I stayed in home, locked in my room and raided with my friends on Warcraft. The social part of WoW is it's so integral to the experience. The game used to be better, in my opinion. Over time, a game like isn't enough to keep people playing and keep people subscribing. It was that social aspect. You know, you're in a guild. You've got people that rely on you. you know, even though it's a game, these these are real people. They're spending their time night after night, and you're all working together, and you form these bonds, and that's what keeps people interested, and that's what keeps people playing. You know, I still like raiding, and I um, I'm still able to do like the the harder raids, but. It's not really what I, why I still play WoW. I've still I've mainly played just to talk to people, and it's like it's like a social network where you get to kill dragons. It's better than Facebook <laughs> for that reason. I think it's one of those games that nothing can replace it, and every time a new expansion is announced, it will pique my interest without fail. I will always say oh, I'm tired of World of Warcraft now, and then a new expansion comes out and it breathes new life into it, and you end up playing it again. So I think it will always be there until, until the game gets to the point that the game has virtually died out, which will happen eventually, but probably not for a while yet. Um, then I think it will always be a part of my gaming life. It's quite hard to sum Warcraft up into kind of like what it is, because it's so big. It's the place I go to just kind of have fun, just kind of take myself out of the world at the time. It's kind of just de-stress, I guess. For me, it's a second home.